Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Reyes and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to set up your Facebook shop on your Facebook fan page. The Facebook shop is a new feature that Facebook has recently launched and is a really cool tool that allows people to purchase your products and services right from your fan page. Now this is a really good tool to use because it also helps drive traffic to your website. So I think it's really cool. I'm going to show you a quick example of a page that set up their Facebook shop and then we'll get started. So here I am on their page and you can see that their shop is already set up and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of their products so that you can see what it looks like once it's completed. And here it is, they have different pictures that you can see about their products. On the side here it shows you more options of other products you may be interested in buying. Let me uh, scroll my little thing over here. So I think that's really cool. Now let's go back to the page and here let's start setting up our Facebook shop. So we're going to go ahead and go to the settings tab and we're going to click on that. Then we're going to go to edit page. On the right side here, it shows you all of the tabs that you have available on your fan page currently. As you can see, the Facebook shop option isn't here yet, so we're going to go to add a tab, click on that. Then, as you can see, it shows you the different tabs that you can choose, and we're going to go to add tab on the shop and just click on that. And then we're going to close. And now you can see that it's on your list. So let's go over to the settings. And we want to make sure that it's on. Okay. And it's pretty cool because if you ever want to uh, just turn it off and not show your shop on your Facebook fan page, you have that option at any time. And it also gives you the option to share a shop tab where they go directly to your website and your store. And you can just put a URL in here. And then we want to make sure that we click save. Now we're going to go back over to the page. And you're going to look here on your left side. It's going to show on your tabs the shop. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to add our first product. So you can add your products to your shop here. So we click on add products. Now I sell digital online training courses and services so I'm going to go ahead and add a photo and on the photo here we're going to select the file I'm going to click on the image that I want to load and then from here we're going to use that photo and of course you can add more photos or if you have a little video commercial you can add that on here and I'm going to edit my photo real quick because it's off of alignment. I'm simply just going to crop that and then click save. And then the name of it, we add the name of the product. Got to click on it first. And the price of it is $27. Now, if this product is on sale, you simply turn it on right here and we can add the sale price. Okay. And then we add a quick description. So this is a five week training course. And from here, we're going to add the ch checkout URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that. And then we can click share this product on your page. So when you add a, a product, you, it can, you can automatically share it. For right now, we're not going to do that. So I'm just going to click save. 
and there it is the first product on the shop and it's processing so Facebook uh, probably has to accept that so next we're gonna go back to page and you can see that as we scroll down in the page you don't see the shop right away so we want to fix that because we want the shop to be at the top of the page when people go to your fan page you want to make sure that they see it right away before they get distracted with any other post and and things that you have on there so to do that we're going to go back over to settings and we go back to edit page and on here we can see the tabs so we're going to edit So from here we're going to simply click oh what happened to my tab here? I must have turned it off somehow. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel this. I'm gonna have to re-add my tab because I clicked on the wrong thing, so that shows you there. Quick little mistake. And then I'm going to make sure it's on and save. And then from here, I'm going to take my tab and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. There we go. So now the tab order, I have the tab all the way on the top. And then we go to page. And there it is. So now when people go to my fan page, the shop will be the second option available. That way when they start to scroll, they see right here the shop. Okay, and that was pretty much it on how to set up the page. So it's really cool. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to set it up. So before we uh, end this tutorial, um, I want to show you that Facebook allows you to either check out with Facebook or check out on your website. So that's a, those are the options that your clients have for purchasing their products. At this time, I set mine up so that they can shop and check out directly from my website. So when I click on it, you can see here it says check out on website. And this is going to take them directly to the checkout page. Now, you want them to go directly to the checkout page because you want people to have to do as less clicks as possible. So as soon as they click on here then of course it goes into the page where they can purchase the product okay I wanted to share that with you guys because you want to make it a very quick and simple step for your clients to check out when they purchase your products and services without clicking on a bunch of different pages so with that said um, here's my store here's my first uh, product that I have for sale, they can share the item or they can save it, they can leave a comment, a like, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, you can add as many products as you would like on your store. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can send me an email at info at I hope you like it. Be well and have a great day.